ever since the Surface came out, and I'm not talking about the laptop or the tablets. Before that, Microsoft had a thing called a Surface, and it was a giant table that was touchscreen enabled. Go look it up. Uh, but ever since that came out, I've always wanted a giant touchscreen table, a wall, whatever is realistically possible. Thing is that while it is available, they're not exactly affordable. Uh, one that I found, for example, retails for about $10,000. Now, a big part of that cost is having to make a screen that large that has touch enabled, etc. But what if you didn't need the screen at all? Sony has finally brought their Sony Xperia touch projector that they were showing off before as a concept to the market. This little projector allows you to essentially turn any surface into a 23 inch to 80 inch touchscreen Android tablet. It can do this using a few clever sensors, including a really clever infrared sensor that can determine where it is you are tapping on the surface and use that for the touch input for Android. On top of being a giant touchscreen tablet, uh, it also is said to be getting Google Assistant voice controls as well. So you could also kind of use it in the place of say a Google Home. The device itself is about the size of a large hard drive uh, and has a USB type C port for charging. Uh, it is meant to be plugged into a wall at all times, but it does have an internal battery that will last about an hour should you need it to. They also packed it with a number of sensors, including a GPS and an e-compass which if it's being plugged in all the time, I'm not sure why they need that, but who knows. Bluetooth, 32 gigs of storage, three gigs of RAM, a barometer, humidity detector, ambient light detector, as well as a human sensor, quote unquote, to display info as you approach. It should be launching in spring in certain markets, but they still have not told us one thing that is super important, I think, because it'll really determine how adopted this thing becomes, and that is, of course, the price. The device also has a camera, and if you set it up pointed at a wall, uh, you can use that camera pointed at you to do Skype calls and other things like that. It also has a Bluetooth speaker, of course, so you can use it to play music uh, or just have audio while playing any number of the Android games or apps. There you go. Quick little rundown of Sony's new projector, the Xperia Touch. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this, uh, what you think of the video in the comments below. Always love hearing from you guys. And if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this, please check out my channel. You can click on my face, not this one. There'll be another one floating around. Click that, head to the channel. If you like what you see there, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.